From Our Savior Lutheran Church in West Columbia, South Carolina, this is Daily Prayer with Pastor Lance for Tuesday, October 13th in the year 2020. Who doesn't remember like horsing around as a kid, doing maybe throwing the ball in the house or something like that, and then all of a sudden the ball gets loose and plow. You know, one of mom's favorite figurines or some dish that belonged to grandma is suddenly on the floor in a thousand pieces. And just the absolute dread of your parents coming home and you're busted big time. And it's just such a horrible, horrible feeling. Like even before the punishment is handed out, you are afraid. Well, our friends, the Israelites wandering around in the wilderness um, have stopped their complaining, but that doesn't stop them from getting into trouble. Let's listen and see what's happening. A reading from the 33rd chapter of Exodus, verses 1 through 6. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go, leave this place, you and the people whom you have brought up out of the land of Egypt, and go to the land of which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, To your descendants I will give it. I will send an angel before you, and I will drive out the Canaanites, the Amorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Go up to a land flowing with milk and honey, but I will not go up among you, or I would consume you on the way, for you are a stiff-necked people. When the people heard these harsh words, they mourned, and no one put on ornaments. For the Lord had said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, you are stiff-necked people. If for a single moment I should go up among you, I would consume you. So now take off your ornaments, and I will decide what to do to you. Therefore the Israelites stripped themselves of their ornaments from Mount Horeb onwards. So the preceding story to this one is the story of the golden calf. If you remember the Ten Commandments or just remember the story in general, Moses goes on up to the mountain. They've been wandering in the desert for a long, long time. He goes up into the mountain to speak with God and to receive the Ten Commandments. And while he's away, just like playing around when your dad's not there, uh, when Moses isn't there, the Israelites get egged on by Aaron, Moses' own brother, to gather up all their gold. And Aaron's going to forge a golden calf for them to worship. You know, uh, this is first commandment type stuff. They know already. They didn't need the Ten Commandments to be handed down right away. Don't worship other gods. They knew that. But Aaron builds them and they're all thrilled and they're all dancing around and there's debauchery down in the camp. Moses comes on down and they're in trouble. They're in trouble. And Moses takes the tablets, throws them, crash, boom. And, you know, uh, corruption, not, cor not corruption, destruction, you know, ensues of this golden calf. And, uh, and God comes down and he is, well, God speaks to Aaron to Moses, and he's as mad as we're going to see God in the scriptures. Uh, he is, you know, he's just, he, he does, Moses at one point, he says, all right, you just get on out of here because I am going to jack these people up. And Moses actually kind of says, whoa, 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 hold it, 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 God, hold on, hold on, and kind of backs them down. But then the next day he says, okay, Moses, here's what's going to happen. You guys are going to get out, get to the promised land. I'm going to drive out your enemies. I'll send an angel to lead the way. Everything's fine. But here, big difference is, I'm not going to be going with you. And so they're crushed. They're absolutely crushed. And it's, you know, he, he's, he's 
saying, yeah, I'm not going to be with you. I mean, he makes himself available at the tent of meeting with Moses later, but here's where he's breaking the news to him. He says, you know, take off all your ornamentation. And they do it, and which they must not have much left because they've given all their gold for the golden calf to be built. And this is all stuff they plundered out of Egypt anyways. And they're sad. They don't know what to, you know, so they get up and off they go on to the promised land. And so he's, God's promised good things to him. And he says, you know, you, I'm not, you know, destroying you. I'm just not going to be right there by your side like you think. And so, I mean, the story unfolds, but it's, it's that same feeling the Israelites have that you had, except it's the entire nation uh, of when you had done wrong. And now you were awaiting your punishment. You know, it's these times like this that uh, what we're asked to do is just to recommit ourselves to God. And so that's our prayer for today, the prayer for commitment. Into your hands, Almighty God, we place ourselves, our minds to know you, our hearts to love you, our wills to serve you, for we are yours. Into your hands, incarnate Savior, we place ourselves, Receive us and draw us after you, that we may follow your steps. Abide in us and enliven us by your power of your indwelling. Into your hands, O hovering spirit, we place ourselves. Take us and fashion us after your image. Let your comfort strengthen, your grace renew, and your fire cleanse us. Soul and body in life and in death, in this world of shadows, and in your changeless world of light eternal now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Just one last reminder, if you like the video, Hit the like button. If you want to share the video, go right ahead on your social media, whatever you like. And, but most of all, please subscribe so that you always know when we have material coming.